In this video, we are gonna create a guidebook or a workbook utilizing Jasper and Canva. So come along with me as we create this totally awesome workbook in half the time because of AI and a template that I have inside of Canva. Here we are back in Jasper and I went ahead and started getting the process of creating a new document within boss mode. The first thing you need to do is you have to have some kind of an idea of the workbook that you wanna create. I happen to have a workbook idea. I wanna create a workbook about creating a content strategy. We're going to copy that. That's actually gonna be my content brief. And we're gonna call this a content strategy workbook. I'm gonna use professional or let's do helpful as my tone of voice. And we need to put in an outline. So I'm gonna do boss mode. We're gonna outline our workbook. So outline the steps for creating a content marketing strategy. We're gonna do a boss mode command, which is command return or command enter. Jasper is doing his magic. Great, so we have five steps that we're gonna create for this workbook. So these are going to go into our content brief. So now that we have our outline, we know how we want to start designing in Canva. So I actually simultaneously create the content and I create the actual workbook because I want the design to really be cohesive and I don't wanna put more work than I need to. So I wanna create the content that I actually need. So let's go in, I have Canva here. I went ahead and created a US letter size document. I already have this really great template that I got off of Fiverr and it just has different samples of different ways that I could do different types of workbooks. It's really handy. And so we first and foremost need a cover page for this beautiful work. So we're going to do this one right here. Here we go. And we're just going to do, let's see, the content planner toolkit. That works. Perfect. I need to put something in my image here. So I'll go up to elements and I'm going to search content and I can find under photos, different pictures that might work. I like this one. We're going to put that in there and voila. So we just need to add my link down here and add a page. So now we're gonna go back down to my template and we're gonna do our second page. Now, depending on the length of this particular document, we might wanna include a table of contents or something like that. But the thing I definitely wanna include is like a little intro welcome section. So I went ahead and added that. There we go. And we can do sign up for our newsletter. We can do follow us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram, whatever. You have like a little call to action. I personally wouldn't do the email newsletter because I'm using this as a lead magnet and I'm actually getting people to sign up for my email newsletter in order to get this. So it would be repetitive. So I would just change this little icon to say like an Instagram icon. Let me go ahead and find that. We'll go under graphic. Throw that in there, size that down, put that here, and we'll say, follow me on Instagram. And then here you'll give them a little reason why they should follow. And then I would say, follow now. And I would actually create a link here. If you're not familiar with how to create links, it's actually rather easy. You're just going to highlight the box or the button, and then we're gonna go up to this link image thing here and we're gonna just put in the link. All right, so this is kind of coming together here. I could just kind of you know mess around with it, what have you. And then we have our little button and then we have a welcome section. So this section over here, the welcome section, we can use Jasper in order to create. You can either create it in the same document or you can create it in a different document. I'm actually gonna use power mode in this case and we're gonna go into the paragraph generator. And I'm just gonna write in the paragraph generator here, just a little welcome message. Now, if you want to kind of stop from doing that, we can copy the brief. We can go back into our paragraph and we can paste that in there. So I just put a couple sentences. We're gonna do the include a keyword. I'm gonna leave that blank in this case. And for the tone of voice, I'm gonna be witty, or you could be helpful, whatever. We're gonna generate AI content in this. This is all this great stuff. Love it. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna place this into our welcome section, just like that. We'll delete this other box. So let's get started. So now your welcome section is done. We're gonna start creating the content. So again, we're gonna go back down into our template and we'll find the right page for this. In this case, I'm gonna do this one right here. 
and it just creates that nice template. Templates are gonna save you a lot of time. This is why we use recipes and templates in Jasper, and it's why we use templates in Canva. So the first topic is going to be the first thing here, define your business goals. So we know that we're gonna use that. So we can go ahead and put that here as our title, great. And now we're gonna create the content for this section. Now you could do this in two different ways. You can use boss mode or you can use power mode, which is what we're in now. And I love this paragraph generator. It saves a load of time. I'm actually gonna do that. We're going to copy this here and I'm going to paste here. Define your business goals and objections is the first step when creating a content marketing strategy and we're going to define and i'm going to keep witty because i like that tone but again you could do helpful professional informative so we're going to generate all right so you are going to find the copy that you like the best i like this particular copy the best i'm going to copy that over into my document and paste it right here. Now we're gonna go back into focus mode, which is full boss mode. And I'm just going to go through, make sure everything here is how I like it. Then I'm gonna ask boss mode a question to answer. And then boss mode command, command return. And he is going to go ahead and start writing that content for me. So I do give it prompts along the way, knowing I have an idea of how I want this content to act. So there are a few key things to keep in mind when defining your goals and objections, and it's gonna go into numbers, which I love. I love numbers first. Be specific, all right? So then we're gonna make that a sub thing. We're gonna make this H2, and then we're gonna just let boss mode continue to compose the rest of this section. This is an H3. Now you'll notice here that the second is, if you can't measure them, you won't be able to tell them that you're making progress. It's a really short paragraph. I would like to have more on how do I measure my goals? So I'm gonna ask the question, answer the question, how do I measure my goals? And I'm going to do a command, Bosmo command. And you see now it's starting to fill in that information. And then again, I want it to keep going. All right, so we'll take this part out. Now we're on to the next section. Make sure your goals are achievable. We're gonna hit compose. We're gonna make this a H3. Common goals include All right, so at this point, trying to go to the next step. So that's gonna be the next section. Now, because I'm doing a workbook, I'm gonna to wanna to create a section within my design for people to fill out their own things. So we're gonna first use this content to explain what they need to do. And then in the design of Canva, we'll give them a section for filling out their own goals and how it will be measurable. So let me show you how I'm doing that. So first we're gonna go ahead and go up here. We're going to copy all of this. And I like to copy in chunks because Canva is not very friendly if you put too much at once. So we'll start filling this out here, okay? And then again, back over here, we're gonna say first be specific. So I'm gonna go ahead and start copying this over and then I'll come back and explain the next step. So I went ahead and I formatted all the content that I wrote for Jasper in the first section. And I just wanted to show you what I came up with. So this is the front cover that we created already. And then you have your welcome. And then again, we're doing define your business goals. And so we have all of that section, everything that you saw me create within Jasper, I just pasted it in, I added some images, and then I created this goal setting little work page that people can use. So that was super easy. So now all I have to do is create something for each one of these sections. So now that you've seen how I create each one of those sections, I'll use that same formula for each one of these sections and I will then go ahead and put them into my template. Before we end, let's say I wanna go ahead and write a closing statement for my document. Maybe everything's already done and we're ready to close everything out. We just wanna wrap it all up. I'm gonna put three asterisks just to tell Boss Mode or Jasper, don't look at anything above here. And then 
I'm gonna do one of three things. Number one option is to do it in boss mode. So let's do that really quick. All right, we're just gonna do command return and we want to continue because it stopped off. Thanks for reading. All right, and then it signs off and we'll do Kelly Mirabella content marketing strategist. So that's one way. I can also go into the power mode again. I could use the paragraph generator to write a closing statement. I can use the blog conclusion paragraph to write a closing statement. So that's the one I wanna show you because we've already looked at how to use the paragraph writer. So if I wanted to write a closing statement for this, I would just go into focus mode. I'd grab my brief, open that template back up. We are going to paste in and then we're going to do the call to action. And the call to action in this case is sign up for my content creation course. And then the tone is witty because we want to keep it consistent throughout. And we're going to generate content. So there are a couple of content things that you can absolutely utilize for your closing statement. And we would just add those. So if you want to see the finished product, just go ahead and click down below and you can grab it for yourself.